The worker shortage seems to be impacting so many facets of everyday life, and that includes how we heat and cool our homes. Yeah, and not only is the heating and cooling industry in need of workers, they're also trying to keep up with a major uptick in demand. Here's Local Force Nick Monticelli with how one local company is managing. I got it dry fitted. Each piece of equipment is its own puzzle. It's uh, just great to be able to like start from, you know, it's like a pile of scraps or something and you, you get it all together and you accomplish uh, something great. After spending just a few minutes with Mike Ross, we quickly got the feeling he loves his new career. He's an apprentice at Flame Heating and Cooling, one of the many in their own training program. So to him, all of this is not overwhelming. It's just trying to go at it step by step. You, you can't you can't climb a ladder a whole thing at once. You got to go rung by rung, uh, step by step by step. Ross is training to be an installer, and most of that training is happening through Flames on-site training program. Operations manager Matt Marsiglio says the program was born from necessity. They needed a better way to train people. People come out of the trade schools, community colleges, strong in theory, but we take and bridge the gap from theory to practical experience. Then add insult to injury, the worker shortage. If you're in a skilled trade, you're hit by the shortage of skilled workers out in the workplace. And on top of that, Flame saw a 20% jump in business. More people staying home for work during the pandemic meant more people wanted better working HVAC systems. And they need people, properly trained people because of what they're doing. We have gas, we have electricity, we're in a home we can you know, prevent carbon monoxide poisoning, so, and we keep people comfortable. So, all encompassing trade. So now there's people like Mike Ross, who used to work in a grocery store. Now he's doing something he's proud of. I came from other uh, labor and it just, ultimately I wasn't getting the recognition and, and pay that I felt like I deserve for what I know how to do. And this is a lot closer to what I needed to support my family. Now, if you're wondering how much you can make doing a job like this, they say that the field technicians are making sometimes upwards of six figures. And Warren, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today.